Steve, am I fat? No, you are not fat, Julie. You really think I am fat, don't you? No, I think you are really lovely and beautiful. Not fat at all. In fact, you are rather skinny. Are you saying I don't eat enough now? You are such a jerk, Steve. Julie, calm down. I'm merely responding to your original question and then complimenting you. Steve, I just don't know where this relationship is going. Well, we did have intercourse last night and you liked it, didn't you? Why are you calling it intercourse? It's so dry and clinical, Steve, as if we did it in a laboratory. Okay, we made love. Is that better? God, you are such an asshole, Steve. I just can't believe you sometimes. We made hot passionate love for hours on end, doing everything we could think of, going around each other's world, and you just stand there calling it intercourse, as if we were going through a grocery checkout line. No, I did not mean that at all. Our experience last night was completely incredible. I think you are wonderful, and I just want to give you a big hug, and hold you, and whisper sweet nothings in your ear. So, you don't even want to kiss me? Or are you thinking about some other girl, like what I see you write on Facebook? I saw that you posted notes on Jennifer Hockmoon's page. She is just a friend, you gotta believe me. I have no interest in her sexually. But you do, have an interest in her, Steve? I fucking knew. How could you? You are such a fucking lying, cheating son of a bitch. God, I hate your motherfucking sorry ass. Calm down, Julie. I really do love you. You are my everything. I honestly love you with all my heart. You keep telling me to calm down. Does that mean you are saying I am hysterical? You really know how to win a girl's heart. You just make me feel like I am one of your little whores. Somewhere on your top 10 list, God, I can only hope I am in the top 10 of the girls you are currently having sex with. No, Sheila, you are the only one. Did you just call me Sheila? You motherfucking piece of shit. My name is Julie. Boo-doo, sob, sniffle, I hate you. Go to hell and die. I just called you Sheila on purpose, Julie, to see how you would respond. It is obvious to me that you do not trust me, even though I'm completely devoted to you. I love you, Julie, so much. Who is my sweet little schnookums rabbit bunny sweetie pie love muffin cutie? Yes, you are my angel slot. Don't try to use mush mush talk on me, you cocksucking faggot bastard. I know you would rather be injecting your throbbing sausage penis into Miss Frampton the English professor. I found you wrote it in your class notes from last semester. That was before I met you, Julie Jesus Christ. Maybe if you did not fix your hair so much, you could spend some real quality time working on the inside of your head which obviously needs a great amount of help. And what is this supposed to mean, you insulting pig fuck? You have no standards at all, do you dog scrotum, you would fuck anything that moved. I fought you last night, and you did not seem to move much. You just lay there like a wet rag on the mattress. I sucked your small dick, but there was not much to put in my mouth, ha 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 ha. Well, it is not my fault you were dating members of the basketball team before you met me. They must have stretched your mouth out and everything else. God, you are really insinuating that I have loose morals when all I ever tried to do was to love you and your sorry pathetic hairy man bitch ass you piece of dog crap laying on the ground. How did we even get to this kind of conversation? Oh yeah, you asked me if you were fat. What does that have to do with anything, if you know that I love you no matter what? I just wanted to see if you noticed my new sundress. You have not said a single goddamn word about my new dress that I bought just so I could look good for you, and you sure as hell did not even notice the new shoes I purchased. I could not believe what an unobservant, uncaring, wrecked, and spreading asshole you are. But I bet you notice every detail in the porn mags you have laying around your dorm room. How did you know I had porn mags there? I have never brought you over to my dorm room. Okay, okay, it is out. I was gonna surprise you the other night by knocking on your door, but it turned out that you were at your history class, and I had been drinking a couple of beers, and your roommate Brad asked if I wanted to have a drink. Then one thing led to another, and we were drinking and laughing and looking at your porn, and then we started messing around, and I ended up fucking your roommate. We did everything. I hope you can forgive me, I fucked up. That is just great. Just great. Here I'm completely faithful to you, and it turns out you slept with my roommate. What a great girl you are. I forgive you as long as it doesn't happen again. But is it? You are not even mad at me? If you really loved me, you would show some kind of emotion instead of being a Mr. Spock robotic cold refrigerator eyes machine left brains nerve hurting, ingrown hit sheep rapist fucker masturbating gay sailor homosexual who has reams male horses out in the field at night. Julie, there is no need for that kind of talk. I have been nothing but kind to you. 
Okay, I admit it. I do think you kind of have a fat ass. Some time spent on the treadmill would not hurt a bit. It is inevitable that you will eventually get fat anyhow with that sedentary lifestyle you live. No wonder you don't move much when we fuck. It would take an act of God to get your lazy ass to move. No wonder you cannot have an orgasm. You do nothing to help make that happen, and then you just end up being some kind of frustrated frigid bitch who can never be satisfied. You will have a great time when the wrinkles start to come in and no one will want to fuck your little snatch, which by then will probably be like some gash in the mud after a rainstorm on a dirt road. I could not believe you just said that to me. That really hurt. I am glad now that I fucked your roommate. Maybe I will go over there right now and fuck him really good. Go right ahead, you cow. In fact, I was not in my history class. I was doing my English teacher from behind with her ass slapping my dick as I was banging away having the time of my life. She really knows how to handle my balls and suck me off. She even swallowed my load, and in addition, she does anal, whereas you are just some kind of princess twat who has no idea how to please a man, so get your bitch ass out of here you cunt. The reason why you are an undeclared major is, because you have never investigated what kind of person you really are, and what you should become. While I worked my ass off in high school reading prolifically, you were just hanging out in the mall to see what kind of tattoo, to have above your vagina. Oh Steve you really do love me. I was just pushing your buttons to see if you really cared. You are a lot of work, Julie, but I love you too. How about some sushi tonight? Okay, sounds good.